one of the many programs that NASA offers uh, to be able to utilize all of that Earth imagery and especially some of the uh, photography capabilities from the space station is EarthCam, which is a student program. Uh, it stands for Earth Knowledge Acquired by Middle School Students, but it's actually open to a wide range of students and other users. Joining us to talk about that is the Johnson Space Center's Kelly McCormick, who is from our Johnson Space Center's Teaching in Space Project Coordinator. Thanks for joining us, Kelly. Thanks for having me, Nicole. Excited to be here and talk about EarthCam. Why don't you just tell us a little bit about the EarthCam program? Um, well, you we're, we're talking about astronauts and scientists and using the ISS as a research platform, and students uh, also use the ISS as a research platform. EarthCam allows students to program a camera on board the International Space Station to take photographs of Earth. Um, we have about four missions per year, and the students get to take a look at places the, um, the ISS will be passing over and then decide on specific locations that they'd like to take a photograph of, uh, order the photographs, and then get their images back. It sounds fascinating. This was um, actually started by Sally Ride. Can you tell us a little bit about the program and how it originated? Yes. Um, actually, after seeing the, the view from space, Dr. Sally Ride was inspired, and in 1995 um, she started the program as KidSat. Um, the original camera flew on three shuttle flights, and then in 1998, the program was renamed EarthCam, and it became a permanent ISS payload in uh, 2001. How many students or schools have, partic have participated in the EarthCam program? Well, we're close to, believe it or not, about uh, 300,000 now since the beginning of the program. During our last mission, which happened in late January, it was our largest ever, and we had over 30,000 students in that one mission from 26 countries. I think that's something I forgot to say earlier. EarthCam is an international program, so students and teachers around the world can participate in EarthCam. That is fascinating. Um, how do the schools and the teachers use these images? Have you heard stories of, of how they use them, either in their curriculum or, or for other kinds of, kinds of projects? We have heard some great stories, and it's really up to the teacher and the students to design how they wish to use EarthCam. That's one of the great things about the program is uh, they can use it to fit their needs. We had students in Colorado Springs use it to study ecology. Um, it's a great hands-on way to teach students about geography when they get to pick their locations and, and, and view their images. Um, we had several students after Hurricane Katrina take photographs of New Orleans, and we've even had um, classrooms use EarthCam to study art. As I understand it, the program is actually run by the University of California in San Diego. Can you explain their role in EarthCam? Yes, that's actually an interesting story that uh, even people that are familiar with EarthCam, a lot of them don't realize that aside from the students out in the classrooms programming the cameras, we have uh, students at University of California, San Diego, about 25 to 30 undergrad students per quarter, and they run Mission Control. And I recently had the opportunity to visit, and it looks very, very much like the Mission Control that you're sitting in, only smaller. And um, this is... Um, uh, a commitment that these students make. They run mission control. They write the software for EarthCam. They maintain everything. Um, they answer all the student and teacher questions. And it's really the missions are run by students at University of California at San Diego. Wow. And, well, another fascinating thing is many of the students go on to pursue STEM careers because of their experience. Um, interning with EarthCam. And in fact, um, I believe we have two engineers here at the Johnson Space Center who chose their path based on their uh, internship at UC San Diego. Wow, that really is great to hear. And um, just wonderful to hear that they're so inspired and, and, you know, leading to working at NASA. Mm -hmm. um, so speaking of, we want more people to participate in that opportunity. And I think we have another EarthCam session coming up, correct? 
Yes, we do. It's just around the corner. It begins April 23rd. Um, and for the first time ever, we're offering a themed mission. It's uh, The theme is erosion. It's called the ISS Erosion Challenge. And we are challenging students to learn about erosion on Earth by taking photographs. Uh, the top five schools uh, will be invited to video conference with an astronaut here at the Johnson Space Center to, to discuss what they learned, to share the research they conducted, uh, to share their images, and uh, just really chat about um, what they learned and see the astronaut, maybe the images that they took from space as well. Wow, that challenge sounds really fascinating. Um, tell us how it works. What do the students or schools need to do to be part of this? It's easy. There is absolutely no cost. Um, um, registration is easy. Just go to the EarthCam website, which I, uh, I believe will be up on the screen. And um, all they, they need to work through their teachers. The teachers register. Once they register, they'll receive some um, codes. And what they do is they go on and they select their their locations, and then they put in their code. It kind of serves as like a ticket for that request, um, and then they receive their image. It really is that easy. And if you haven't been to the teachers, if you're out there and you uh, participated before, I encourage you to visit the website again. It's been completely redesigned. It's very, very simple, and it leads the user through step-by-step. -step. Um, very, very easy to use. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to mention, Nicole, is uh, it is available. Earth Can we, we invite scouting groups, after-school clubs, um, it's homeschoolers. It's open to anyone in the formal or informal education community. That really is wonderful. It sounds like a, a great, like you said, a great opportunity for all, all sorts of groups and students uh, to be able to take part in. Um, and this erosion challenge sounds great, too, and that's just in time for Earth Day, so a lot of people are focused on that. And can you just share with us again the dates for the next session and then the deadline? It begins April 23rd. It runs through the 26th, and teachers can register now or even up until the day the mission begins. Um, and there is no limit for how many people uh, Earth Camp can serve, so everyone's welcome. Uh, we, in we invite you to join the mission.